Hey everybody, this is Ion Stuff, and today I wanted to make a quick video on how to enable and repurpose an ATX power supply. All the red wires is positive 5 volts, all the yellow wires is positive 12 volts, all the orange wires is positive 3.3 volts, the blue wire is negative 12 volts, and then all the black wires is ground. This is a standard 24 pin ATX power connector. Now there are two things you need to do to enable your power supply. If your power supply has a brown wire, that is the 3.3 volt sense wire. That brown wire needs to be connected to positive 3.3 volts, which is the orange wire. So you want to connect the brown wire, if you have one, to an orange wire. The next thing you need to do is connect the green wire to a black wire. Black wire is ground, so you're grounding the green wire. That will enable the power supply. This is the other side of the 24-pin uh, connector. You will notice a purple wire on the right side. That purple wire is the standby. If you plug your power supply into an AC outlet, an AC current is present, 5 volts will be present on the purple line. So you can use that as an AC indicator telling you that um, it's plugged into the wall or you can connect the purple line to a USB connector to charge your devices and that particular USB connector will be active as long as your power supply is connected to AC current. It doesn't matter if the power supply is on or not. Now for testing purposes I made a small jumper out of copper wire to plug into the 24-pin uh, connector and this will jump the green wire to the black wire. Okay, if you noticed, I plugged the AC line to the power supply and there is a built-in switch. Some power supplies will not have a built-in switch and I'll talk about that in a minute. But this one does and I did not insert the jumper to enable the power supply yet so I'll try to turn it on. Notice it did not turn on. You would hear the fan if it was on. Let me turn it back off. Let me go ahead and insert the jumper that will connect the green wire to the black wire, which is ground. Okay, the green wire should be connected to ground, as you can see. Let's see if that enables the power supply. Now note that I don't have a brown wire, so I don't have to connect it to the orange wire. I believe it's internally connected or is not required. So if you can hear the fan turn on, that means the power supply is enabled and you should have voltage on all the uh, wires. Okay, a quick note, the power supply I have here has a built-in switch for the main power. If you want to use that as the main switch for the power supply, just make sure that uh, you make all the modifications that I talked about before. If you want to use your own toggle switch, basically you connect the toggle switch to the green wire and the black wire. And if your power supply has a built-in switch, just leave that built-in switch in the on position. Then you can use your toggle switch. Now, if you plan to use your power supply for low current devices, then I would suggest you use a load resistor to stabilize the output. And from what you see here, you can use a 10 ohm resistor at 10 watts. That's R1. And you can put that on the 5 volt output of the power supply across to ground, and then connect the output to your load. If your load is a high current device, then you probably would not need this load resistor. The last thing you want to do is bundle up the wires. For example, I bundled up a number of black wires here. You want to continue and cut the black wires from the other cables here and make it as long as possible. So this one has a couple of black ones here. You want to cut them off here and add it to this bundle here. You want to cut off the black ones here at the main connector and add it to this bundle here. 
and you want to do the same thing for all the reds, all the orange wires, and all the yellow wires. And that way, the output of your power supply can provide all the power this power supply is capable of providing. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.